to summarize our interventions, um, for us it's about looking at whatever it is that we are backing, to what extent is it going to finally um, benefit the system. So what it means is, is your intervention scalable? That's one of the things that we look for. Is it something that will be uh, leveraging the strategy of the Department of Education. So we don't want to find anything that will be in parallel, which just does nothing but to fatigue the system. Um, collaboration is us realizing that there's a myriad of needs that need to be addressed. And so as all mutual alone, we can't do it on our own. So we do need to fund and find um, people that we can actually collaborate with to test and to innovate some of these um, solutions. And then we are a financial institution, we're an investment um, institution, we talk long term, so we need to do the same when we invest in CSI. Um, deal breakers, if you do not have a rigorous monitoring and evaluation pro program that shows us cause and effect of the work, because like I said, what we want to do at the end of the day is to convince government to scale what we've tested. So if we can't prove that it works, it makes it very difficult to have that conversation. Um, not interested to scale, you just want to work in your little corner in a silo and ad hocly, it's difficult to work that way because we are rushing against time. The importance of partnerships. For us, the biggest partnership that we look for and we seek is with the Department of Education. Um, so we might work with our NGOs on the side, but we need to make sure that whatever it is that we are doing, it's either to leverage what is already happening or to find ways that are going to ultimately complement what the Department of Education is seeking to address and to achieve. So partnerships is important. Teacher development, if we cannot teach our teachers to teach um, reading, it's not gonna work. We need to find ways that are going to sustain the system so that it can carry itself and that development has that don't need to come through every time. So learner and teacher resources to enable teaching and learning is very important. Leadership work that has started on instructional um, leadership and curriculum management remains important. We must not forget that and all run to do literacy and numeracy. That needs to continue. And lastly, I am a parent. Uh, I struggle to teach my grade one learner with all the education that I have to do phonics. So I can imagine how difficult it will be for a parent who does not have the same level of education or the grandparent who needs to take care of five other grandchildren. So we need to leverage the reading that needs to happen at home. So resourcing of the reading um, strategy must include bringing uh, 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 parents along because they will be the bedrock of what needs to be achieved. That's it.